Hello everyone and welcome back. Once again, I am Pete and... I am Viv. And uh, welcome back to our new Let's Play. This is something quite different from Broken Sword. Uh, this is, as we can see, FTL or Faster Than Light. And, uh, th uh, this game, as we can see at the bottom here, this game came out in t uh, 2012 from Subset Games. Uh, th uh, this is a roguelike in space. Now, are you familiar with the term roguelike, Viv? Nope. No, uh, it's one of those things that's uh, kind of been debated. I think it, it is the kind of thing we need a new name for, but it's basically just uh, a game with permadeath and randomly generated levels, characters, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, but uh, so basically, uh, we're playing the GOG version, which is a, a brand new install. So this is the only ship we have at the moment, the Kestrel. Oh, why stand corrected? <laughs> Well, they're right. I thought I was actually trying a, a brand new install of this to, uh, so I could get uh, right from the uh, from the ground up. But no, apparently uh, it's a uh, GOG has been thoughtful enough to import all my saves from Steam. So never mind about that. Okay, well, I'll we'll start off with the basic ship anyway. So uh, uh, the general idea behind this game is uh, I have to move from uh, one sector to the other and just kind of try not to die horribly. And I will confess this now, I have never once beaten this game. Joy! <laughs> Not once. <laughs> this game is hard. <laughs> but I'll, I'll explain the, uh, the details once we get into it. Do we want to rename in, uh, the ship? Or any of our crew? Uh, I, don't know, I can't see the names of the crew. I barely see it myself, actually. We've got Turing, Dolan, and Trico, is that? Oh, they're bad names. Uh, Do we need new names? Oh, definitely. Alright. Well, what should we call Turing? Missy. Missy. I believe we can, yeah, we can uh, make him a lady as well. Oh, no. Keep him a guy. Yeah. Well, he, he, is, <laughs> he is Mr. Missy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, right, what about Dolan? Scamp. Oh, he was pretty Dolan. No, he is Scamp. I'm clearly going with dog names here. <laughs> yeah. and... scamp, scamp is ostensibly human, but we know the truth. <laughs> and Trico. Oh, you can choose this one. Oh. <laughs> Your creativity for names. <laughs> uh, right, let's go with Mel... No, I don't want to spell that. Right. Let's go with Raziel. <laughs> I can't even go. see if I've uh, typed properly yet. Yeah. There we go, Raziel. And for, uh, for those who recognise the name, that is a, a clue for a future Let's Play, everybody. Ha oh. ha So yeah. <clears throat> and we're playing with uh, Advanced Edition content. Uh, we'll get, get into that soon, but yeah, this basically adds a whole bunch of interesting, interesting new mechanics to the game, so we're playing with that. Um, and uh, this is a game... A hard mode was also uh, added into the game later on. This is a game I've never once beaten normal mode. <laughs> I've never attempted hard mode. So one, one day if I'm feeling brave I'll try that, but we'll go for normal for now. Okay, so here we are. So this right there, that is the entirety of the plot for this game. So basically we have, uh, uh, we are working for the Federation, we have data that they need for some apparently self-evident reason. And the rebels would rather we, uh, they didn't get it, so they're out to stop us. So we have to try and get uh, get back home to the rebel fleet, or to the rebel fleet, to the Federation, and get the data to them before we get blown into a million pieces. Right, so this is the basic uh, uh, gameplay screen here. This is our ship. Oh, I forgot to rename the ship. No. Okay, so it's just the Kestrel in this round. We can uh, think of something else for a different one. So, if, to begin with, we have an Artemis missile and a burst laser to our name. I think it's uh, better to have the burst laser first, since we, we use it more often. So, uh, this is the uh, the beacon map for this sector. We're in sector 1 now, there's 8 all together, and the idea is basically to uh, get once we get all the sec way to sector 8, we fight the rebel flagship, whether we're ready for it or not. Probably not, to be honest. <laughs> And we have to try and upgrade the ship as much as possible before we get there, so we don't die a horrible death. Oh, and right off the bat we have a stress beacon down here. Shall we see if someone needs help? Yeah, are the dots like planets? Uh, yeah, they're basically stars. Oh, okay. 
Th- this, this whole thing is just like a, like a galaxy. We have to, we have to pl- uh, plot a, uh, our exit point is over there, so we have to mm-hmm. plot a course. So this one will take us to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, slight detour. We can go and uh, answer the stress call first of all. Okay. okay we locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virally. Okay. And they're setting up quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. So our options are, we can either send in our crew to help control the crowds, or ignore their request and move on. And I should point out before we make, we make our decision here, it is possible to lose crew members in random events. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, if we choose the first option, the, uh, the random number generator will decide whether we su- uh, succeed or fail. If we succeed, something good will happen. If, uh, if we fail, probably we'll probably lose one of our crew. Okay. I still say go for the first one. Alright. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, this is good. No, this is not good. What does it say? Uh, uh, our, our crew tries to... <coughs> excuse me. Crew tries to keep the crowds in line, but the scene quickly turns ugly. Half crazed with fear, the infected grab mining tools and push back at your crew. Oh, that's charming. Yeah. They barely get away with injury, but the same can't be said for the colony's leaders, and we quickly leave. Oh, crap. Sorry okay. about Okay, that's, uh, that's actually one of the better outcomes, so at least no one died. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, let's move on then. Oh, I didn't think this through. Now I have to go through a nebula to get, uh, to get the rest of the way there. That's usually pretty bad. Oh, that was unpleasant. Oh, goody, we have intruders on board. Ah, uh, great. <sighs> Yeah, sometimes this game just dicks you over. Okay, well, we're in a nebula, which is fucking with our sensors, so we know there are intruders on board, but we don't know where. Okay. So let's do the common level-headed thing. Open all the doors and just suffocate the bastards. No, stay. Uh, oh, that sounds like they're in the shield uh, compartment. Alright, ch- change of plan. Close the doors, close the doors. <laughs> the doors won't close. <laughs> yeah, just good old fashioned festival. Oh shit, there's four of them. That is bad. That is very bad. <laughs> Okay, back to plan A. We're spacing them. Quick, everyone, we're feeding into the medibay. That's where they are. <laughs> uh, this is uh, quite handy. This is a little trick if you can f- uh, use the uh, you know, uh, star of various rooms of oxygen to kind of force them to, uh, to go to one particular mm-hmm. place. If you guide them into the, uh, the medibay, where our guys are, uh, the medibay heals them faster than they can do damage. So. Oh, we just let, uh, let them tear chunks out of the, the enemy. It's okay, they're fine. Yep, they're still fine. This last one's resilient, doesn't he? Yeah. Come okay, well, on, just do the decent. There we go. Do the okay. decent thing and die, is that yeah. what you're gonna say? Yes, that is word for word what I was about to say. <laughs> but he did the decent thing before I could, so. Nice. So, anyway, four dead intruders later. Send everyone back to where they were. Why are my engines off? Oh, right, someone needs to repair the shields as well. Anytime you're ready there, I can't remember what your name is. Scamp. <laughs> Come on, Scamp, fix the shields. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go, back to normal. Activate. There we go. Okay, on to the next jump. 
Oh, well, we have another distress beacon. Oh, I was going to be in distress. Yeah. Will we have better luck this time? I hope so. Let's give it a shot. Near a small asteroid belt. Okay, there's a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Ooh, they're illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Mm, okay, so we can either try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks, or we can just destroy them, or them and loot the ship. Yeah, fuck them, they're only pirates. They're pirates, I suppose. They might be good pirates. Mm. But no, let's just go and be ruthless. Mm. Yeah, we don't have time for mercy anymore. This may not have been the best idea. Uh, <clears throat> they're fighting back. Uh, uh, fire a few volleys into their hull, but before we can scrap their remains, another pirate ship flashes up what? on your radar. <laughs> So either they're uh, wanting to protect the other pirates, or they want to nick the spoils for themselves, but whatever. But we're now in combat, so... Okay, so here's how combat works in this game. We have... <clears throat> I beg your pardon. Uh, this is our reactor strength here. This is the amount of energy we can uh, divvy out. These are all the different systems. So we have shields, engines, medicine, oxygen regeneration, and the weapons. And then we have subsystems over here. So the idea uh, we have to... Uh, draw power away from certain systems so we can power the other ones. So obviously at the moment we need weapons. Mm -hmm. Burst laser in particular. Uh, we should probably have the uh, the engines at full capacity just so that uh, uh, just so we can avoid incoming fire. Okay. And we are currently paused, but as soon as, as, soon as we unpause, uh, the the weapon will charge up, and then we can see where we go from there. So let's go. Yeah, obviously they've got two guns. Obviously. Actually, can you We have an Artemis missile. This uh, this ignores uh, shields. So if we take out their shields with that, then we'll be able to make short work of them with the burst laser. Hopefully. And we've got a place on fire already. This is going well. <laughs> We're doing so well. Yeah. Truth be told, this is actually how the average game plays for me. Maybe I'm just bad at this game. Come on, come on. This is one way of dealing with... Oh, there goes the Artemis. Okay, so it doesn't work on the, the advanced shields, so... May as well see if this happens. Do the shot of their shields, come on! Fires out, so we can close the doors once again. There's a little touch in this game. Uh, I thought I told you fire. I'm right clicking, aren't I? There we go. Open fire! Nope. Nope. Okay, so we've got the advanced portion of their shield done. So, we should probably take out their weapons now, I think of it. And fire! Yeah, there we go. That's their weapons or systems offline, so now they can't hit us. Nee, 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 nee. Always good. Mm. Okay, so a good tactic I found is if we just blow them up, then we get scrap, which is used as uh, both for upgrading the ship and as uh, a currency in this game. Oh. Uh, we can trade for it. Uh, <clears throat> but if we manage to uh, kill everyone on the board without uh, actually harming the ship itself, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, so in that, in that particular instance, we didn't manage to save the ship, but if we did, then we tend to get a lot more stuff, so like more missiles, more fuel, and more scrap as well. Okay. But anyway, we've got three fuel, one missile, and 17 scrap, so not a bad haul, all things considered. Pretty good. Hang on, what about the original ship we were going to blow up? Oh. Did, did we you, just kind of forget about that? Did you blow them up, or did they just... No, that was, a, that was some other gang of pirates that was shown to... To help them up. Oh, okay. Uh, well, apparently we're just forgetting about them. Okay, fair enough then. <clears throat> I'm gonna come back to haunt you. Ah, yes, not. So here's the ticking, uh, ticking clock mechanic of this game. You see this very uh, threatening looking ring of death over here? Yes. That is the rebel fleet, and they're coming for us. So, uh, do, uh, do you remember that one episode, an early episode of um, Battlestar Galactica? Where the uh, 
where they, uh, they have to do a jump every 33 minutes, and then every time they do a jump, the Cylon fleet jumps as well, mm-hmm. so they have to keep uh, one step ahead. Oh, yeah. It's uh, kind of like that. Every time we make a jump, they make a jump as well, and if they catch up to us, then all manner of horrible things will happen. Uh, oh, and we have uh, fuel here, as we can see, so it costs uh, one fuel per jump, and if we run out of fuel, then even more horrible things will happen, but we can cross that bridge when we come to it. So we have a shop here, but that takes us back a step closer to the, uh, the advancing fleet. Do we want to risk that? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, I need to live once. Available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm usually not for very long in this uh, game. Shall we go? It's just a generic greeting, really. Predictably, we can't uh, afford anything, but we may as well fix the, uh, the slight scratch on our hull. There, we now have a ship in perfect working order. Um, let's see what else they have on sale. We have a clone bay, mind control, and hacking, none of which we can afford. We'll just grab some fuel. We'll just bring it up to 20, just for a nice round number, and then we'll be on our merry way. Let's see if we can upgrade anything. Okay, so this is the other thing we use scrap for, which is upgrading the ship. We can upgrade the individual systems, mm. but the more they upgrade, the more uh, energy they need uh, to run. Uh, we can upgrade the, re the reactor, which gives us more energy down here. Okay. So, uh, okay, a uh, fairly good investment is blast doors, but we can't afford them just yet. Soon. Yeah, soon, perhaps, yeah. Although another good, good early investment is the O2 one, because uh, even if it's not fully powered, it uh, gives it uh, uh, one more level before it gets knocked out if there's an, uh, a raiding party or it gets hit by gunfire. So it just gives us a nice little safety net there. So on we go. Um, based on how far they're advancing, I'd suggest this one over here, a little bit closer to the exit. Okay, yeah, why not? You see it okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just... Okay, we're on our way. And we're right next to a sun. This is going well. Oh, we can top off our town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a beacon has been uh, placed too close to a giant class... A super giant class M star. And of course, these guys are right next to it. They're not in the slightest bit bothered. Okay, power to weapons. Here we go. I'd focus on the weapons first of all, so that they can't fight back. Okay, what will kill us first, the sun or those guys? Mm. Well, well, I've missed everything so far, that's good. Sustained fire. Shit! <laughs> um, we've, lo we've lost the sensors. Okay, we ah. fix the sensors. You, what's your name? Raziel, fix the sensors. That's Scamp's job. <laughs> Scamp is busy, he's manning the engines. <laughs> oh, God. Why am I right clicking today? Alright, I'll see. Uh, the other thing about uh, the way this game works is uh, if a system is manned, it's slightly more, uh, uh, slightly more efficient. So, so we can see the. Uh, our evasion factor here, so statistically we, uh, we will miss, 28% uh, of the shots fired at us will miss, although in all likelihood 510% of the results will hit, yeah. very devastatingly, uh, and uh, that is the improved factor because Scamp is manning them. Ah, oh, excellent. Good old Scamp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sounded so reasonable up until I said Scamp is yeah. manning it, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they can gradually, uh, the crew gradually improve the longer they do a job, so they, they get better at it. And we have a solar flare eminent. Isn't that fun? This just gets better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nope. great. Well, they missed that time. Um, go on, Razio. Fix the sensors. Fix the sensors. Okay. Uh, the door department is on fire, which means that I can't open the airlocks to vent it. Okay. Scamp. All right, Scamp, you're up. Put them out. Oh, they're all over the place. This is bad. This is incredibly bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is piling the thing. FTL drive is charging. Okay, I think we may need to just leg it away from here. 
Yeah, I think we're just gonna yeah, just skedaddle out on out of here. Alright. Okay, so now that our ship is on fire. <laughs> Only a little bit on fire. Yeah. Okay, so apparently there's intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No much of them can be found in the database. Do we want to investigate or should we ignore it? Oh. Bearing in mind that we still have the fire on board to the No, I think we deal with the fire, ignore it. Yeah. We need to deal with our own stuff right now. You know, we have issues. Yeah, ignore the readings and prepare to move on. Okay, right, how do we fix this? You don't. Okay, well, we no longer need Missy at the helm, so get in there and fix this shit. You crash into a car. Fix the sensors. It'll all be alright if we can just fix the sensors. Oh, and Raziel is about to die to the Medi Bay quickly. Okay, that's the doors working again. Okay, everyone to the medical bay. Heal. And our shields are knackered. Who needs shields? <laughs> How do we fix them? Uh, we just send the uh, the guys in and just let them just hit them with the spanners until they're fixed. Oh. Uh, apparently the sensors are on fire again. There's a faulty sensor, I'd say. Okay, that's... Just space the fire. It's spreading to the weapons system. This is incredibly oh, bad. Right, I'm just going to vent the entire ship except for that one place that we're in until until I can uh, the Does that the not make the fire stops. better? Or does it put them out? Oh no, it's, uh, it starves it of oxygen. Oh, okay. Shield's critical. I know the shields are critical. Oh, and the oxygen's low as well. There we go. That should be it now. Okay, let the oxygen boost back up again. Now it should be safe again. So I think we agreed Raziel was the weapon specialist, so he can fix that. Scamp can fix the shields. And Messi can deal with the sensors. And then we just wait for them. Fair enough. Yep, just let them do their thing. Okay, Anytime okay, you're ready, guys. guy doesn't come along. Now that is uh, one piece of mercy this game does have, is uh, once you're out of place, just uh, whatever's going to happen happens right at the start, so we're safe for now until we jump away. And there's the weapons fixed again. Okay, so that could have gone better, I'm not going to lie. Let's see what our fate holds in store in the exit. There you go, the long range beacon. Once the FTL's charged, we can jump on to the next sector. Uh, oh, and we find a colonized moon, but scans show it has been abandoned. There's an abandoned space oh. station near the beacon. So we can either move in to examine the station or stay near the beacon. Move to examine the station. Alright, let's chance it. Die in the progress. Oh, it's just an empty shell. Stripped oh. of useful materials long ago. Oh. Oh. Oh, at least it didn't actively hurt us in any way. That's true. And there's, there's a shop down there, but um, oh, we definitely can't afford anything. We've only got three strap. And the fleet are on their way, so shall we head on to the next sector? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. We can't go shopping. I mean. mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, how is this for a pessimistic choice? We can either go to an uncharted nebula or to a rebel controlled sector. I'll go to the uncharted bit. Okay, so, uh, so the nebulas, I should warn you that these are a royal pain in the arse because they've got the uh, like, um, like electrical storms and whatnot that fuck with your sensors mm -hmm. and basically make everything on the ship invisible. So, and you, uh, usually oh. knock out part of the reactor as well so you have less okay. energy to do with. So, so, bad guys or the yeah. 
I generally tend to, uh, to go for uh, Rebel Controlled instead of the, ne uh, the Nebula, unless the Nebula is completely unavoidable. Okay, let's do it. So, so we're probably about to die horribly, so... <laughs> Onward! <laughs> for the Federation! To infinity and beyond. No, that's the wrong thing. Yeah. It's a space thing, though. Oh, look, we have to deal with the fucking Nebula anyway. <laughs> we might be able to get ruined it, though. No, we can't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're gonna solve the pop. Oh, this. Alright. Okay, this FTL is what's called a dick move. We have uh, one potential uh, place there, but there's nowhere to go from there, so all we can do is go back. So it's wasted fuel. Okay, well, I suggest we go for this one and then get out of the nebula quickly and then get into one of these nodes so we can make our way to the exit. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one good thing about, uh, about the nebulas is. Uh, they apparently throw off the Rebel Fleet sensors, so they advance slightly more slowly as well. Okay. Oh, it's an auto scout. So, right, so bearing in mind we have to deal with the nebula, mm -hmm. we can either attack the automated ship to get to the station, or avoid provoking the ship. <sighs> That's tough. Okay. Okay. Right. We're, we're looking we're looking at its, its systems. It has a, a cloaking system, but it doesn't have shields mm -hmm. and relatively low hull. So. Well, so maybe attacking it might be the way. Yeah. We mm -hmm. might get I more think, scrap than you. Might cats. be might be able to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fairly sure it doesn't have cats. Never this isn't Twilight Imperium. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's attack it. Attack. And it immediately cloaks. Okay. Now here's bullshit. We uh, start the weapon charging, but it doesn't actually uh, gather any power until the thing decloaks. So oh. we just have to sit here like a lemon, getting pelted with missiles. Oi! Leave Scamp alone. Well, anyway, first laser is charging. First thing we're going to want to do is take out their weapons. There, now they can't hit us back. And then I think their cloaking system. Oh yeah, 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 that seems to be... Nope, oh, they're invisible again. Royal pain in the... pain. <laughs> well, we're almost charged, so as soon as he has to decloak, we're gonna hit him full strength. Now. And... boom! There you go. No more crokery for you. Mm -hmm. So we just need to get one more head in, and then that'll be him sorted. And there we go. It's going to get some scraps. Well, it's about 24 scrap. Oh, handy. Uh, and we now also get to investigate the station. Oh, there might be some good stuff. Oh, abandoned. Why are they all abandoned, honestly? There's going to be something bad around here if they're all mm -hmm. abandoned. I have a horrible feeling it might be us. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, it's a junkyard. Well, I'm Shackle Market. One trader has a deal that catches your eye. Uh, we can trade eight fuel for two missiles. Mm, how mm. much fuel do we have there? Uh, we've got 14 at the moment. I think eight for just two missiles, I think that's a bit steep considering we've got nine in reserve. And we need fuel. Yeah, we, we definitely. I think right now we need fuel more than missiles. Later on, uh, once we get. Uh, uh, enemies with upgraded <coughs> shields, then we'll need missiles, but for now I think we're okay with our trusty burst laser and as much fuel as we can carry. Uh, oh, here's the thing. Uh, we could try taking a detour down mm -hmm. here, down by this way, okay. round here, and then back round to that. Okay. So, uh, I, think See what's got, that? I think we've got another, uh, another good few jumps before the fleet catches up with us, so we okay. should be okay. Well, if, it, uh, if, it, if necessary, we can just jump straight from there to there, so. Yeah, let's give it a shot, see if we can find some more scrap. A forward scout of the Rebel Fleet. Oh, I think I know what's coming next. Yep, there it is. They're powering up their FTL drive. So basically they're trying to uh, get away. They're trying to escape so they can uh, go back to the fleet and let us know where they are. Uh, or where we are, rather. Yeah. So we kind of need to take them out before they escape. So focus on the engines this time. Kind of crippled them. And they've sent a drone after us. That's nice of them. Joy. It's okay, they can't get through our shields. Our shields are down! <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've got really faulty shit, but yeah. 
It is basically just held together with Pritstick and Hope. But the good news is we've, uh, we've taken out their engines, so they can't escape just yet. So now I think... Yeah, go for the weapons. Yeah. yeah, that one missed us. Mm. Yeah, that's the shield to take out. This time we're firing the captain. And there's the O2 systems fixed again. <laughs> They're setting ducks, it's brilliant. What do I reckon? Should we try taking out the O2, see if we can suffocate them? Yeah, sure, why not? <coughs> so I think that the uh, ship will probably give out before they do, to be honest. <laughs> and they're repairing their, uh, their weapon systems. Not on my watch. <laughs> There is a, uh, to a certain extent, you kind of wonder if the rebels are justified given the, uh, how much you can just toy with them. Yeah. You know, like, you know, to give them just long enough to repair a system and then set it on fire again. Yeah, so that gave us three fuel, one drone part, which we can't use just yet, and 24 scrap. Oh, the fuel is going to hurt. So, not bad. Oh, well, and we might be able to upgrade now as well. Let's see where the ship. Uh, I think first things last, blast doors in case we get bored again. Mm. That makes it slightly harder for intruders to get through the ship. But, oh, I thought we had more than that. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, slightly more secure. Oh, I should probably send these two to the, the Medi Bay to get healed up. Yeah, that's Raziel all healed. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're in charge of weapons. And Scamp goes back to the engine room. Uh, yeah, I think we're still okay for our detour. Along the U-turn nebula. And we've just blundered into an asteroid field. <laughs> <laughs> Are you starting to get the idea why I've never managed to beat yeah, this game? Yeah, I mean, it yeah. doesn't cut you a break. You know, it's it always the sightseer or anything. And... Yeah, so we have a, uh, an auto-scout in the middle of an asteroid field. <laughs> and there's intruders detected, so that's bad. How are these intruders getting on? I mean, he's that carelessly when right. the door's open. Alright, space the bastards. And they're going after our weapons. So. Alright, let's take out their shields and then the, uh, what do you call it? the asteroids will take care of the rest. Two. Come on. You need to think you're getting away. Oh, hang on. I've just made a, a terrible mistake. That was not an intruder. That's Raziel. Oh my god! Yep, they've got a mind control device on the, uh, on the ship. Wow. This is quite bad. Okay, change of plan, target the mind control, take it out, destroy it at any cost. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Okay, Raziel's back with us, that's okay. Alright, get you back to the engine room. And then at the weapon room, I mean. Holds it 50%, but... Sometimes I despair. I mean, I really do. <laughs> you do to yourself. <laughs> We've lost the sensors again, which is bad. It's like, yeah, faulty at the start. Uh, well, the asteroid took pity on us and took the uh, the other sky out for us. So uh -huh. yeah, some more so uh, more stuff there. All right, Missy, you get to the medical bay, fix that. And the doors are damaged as well. Yeah, do you know what we really need right now? We need someone to fix the ship, because we're less than 50% hull integrity. Yeah. yeah, that is uh, one major point of criticism that uh, this game has uh, been subject to, is it? It uh, kind of is kind of luck of the draw, whether or not you'll be able to succeed or fail. 
you know, sometimes uh, the random number generator will just dick you over and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm sure there's probably someone in the comments even as we speak saying, oh, there is, you, you can prepare for anything, you do some sort of thing, you yeah, that's what they all sound like. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there is a way, but I haven't found it yet, okay? I'm thick. What do you want? Ooh, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I said, let's get the hell out of here. I'm right next to another fucking sun. And there's intruders on board. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure they're intruders? <laughs> yeah, it says right, right there in black and white. Well, red and black anyway. Intruders on board. Um... Yeah, I'm glad you arrived. Our ship is damaged and we're getting desperate. I hope you won't mind if we take yours. Well, kind of do, actually, guys. Yeah, kind of needed that. Yeah. Okay, so any minute now our ship is going to be set on fire and we have intruders on board. Do you see what I mean about getting decked over by the RNG? Ooh, suicide mission! Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll just fucking kill these guys so we can get out of here. If you wouldn't mind killing them a little faster, please. So we have the FTL thing to chart, uh, or so we can get the hell out of here. Okay, to the Medi Bay with you. Oh, let's see if it's yes, the, the rest of the way. Doors open. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Oh, we can jump. I think. Should we jump before the solar flare gets off and just hope like hell we don't get ambushed again? Yeah. Okay, well, well, hopefully they'll suffocate before any trouble rises anyway. Hopefully. Okay, well, here. That's another asteroid field. Don't you just love them? And another auto scout. <laughs> I like to you know, That's an auto hacker. Uh, Even better, this one can take control of the systems on our ship. Of course it can. Alright, first things last, let's take out the take out the shield and then hopefully the, you know, the asteroids will deal with the rest. Oh, he's got the same idea. Shit! Close the doors! Close the doors! How could you leave them open? <laughs> I've got kind of a bit to deal with here. <laughs> okay, open the doors! Open the doors! <laughs> this is on fire again. Yeah, okay, I'm closing the game. Uh, weapons are offline. Right, refill the oxygen so we can fix. Will you stop hitting our shields? No. Oh, yeah, we're about to die. Yep, there we go. Ah! That, was that a success or a failure? So, that's FTL, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. But... It doesn't cut you a break. It really doesn't. No. I was actually expecting to uh, get further than that. Well, it's usually hard, it's not normally that hard. So we got a final score of 415, so... That's good. I no, don't know what the average score is. Uh... Let's, see, let's see what the stats are like. My top score overall... Top scores overall. And my, well, my top score has been 3,056. Okay. You're not done great today, then. No. It's just, you know, yeah. Yeah. I've, out I've, ma I've managed to get. To, you can see, I've managed to get to the last sector a couple of times, but then the rebel flagship is just a pain in the arse. It is just completely broken. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so that is a less than successful run, but. Hope you enjoyed it all the same, folks. So it was very different but, to what yeah, we played before. Minutes, so. so yeah, hope you enjoyed that. So if you enjoyed, pl uh, please co uh, join us next time for our uh, more long form let's play. And uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll hope to see you all then. So until then, say good night, Viv. Good night, Viv. Good night, everyone. <laughs>